Hello and welcome back to Become the Teapot. I'm Ian. And so am I. This episode we prepare to feel the wrath of the League of Evil Exes as we discuss Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. There's certain autobiographical elements to this, such as, you know, his sister is named Stacy. He talks at one point in the back of this book about um, how he uh, shared a bed with a friend for like six months, you know, much like Scott does with Wallace. Just a comment on that. The badge that Anna Kendrick wears is actually his sister's badge that she wore when she worked at a place similar to that. Oh, that's cool. So that actually that. is her real badge. <laughs> that's actually a really nice Easter egg. Uh, which brings us on to Ian's Egg Hunt. So this is a new segment. Listeners of last week's episode will know that Ian has a penchant for Easter eggs. He loves finding them. He loves pausing films and looking for things. So we are turning this into a regular feature now that we are calling Ian's Egg Hunt. Uh, I believe, Ian, you've prepared a theme tune. Doopy doopy doo doo. No, I've not. <laughs> okay. That's my theme tune. Is that your theme tune? Yes. Well, let's, we'll, we'll work on that. We could always throw that to the listeners if well, we have any. I tell you what, if anyone is listening to this show, <laughs> feel free to send us an intro for Ian's egg hunt. But Ian, what is the Easter egg of the episode? Oh, I mean, Easter egg of the episode, I've got, I've got a whole list here. Um, Easy there. In the film, when Scott grabs the package from Pomona, he then throws it behind him in the bin. That took them 33 shots to get that right. Oh, yeah, because they did it practically, didn't they? Yeah. I think that features on the DVD, actually, or the Blu-ray. But yeah, so so that shot is done for realsies. Very nice. Um, also, a couple of other things that I did realise. Um, when they're fighting the twins, um, they actually turn their dials up to 11, even though it's in Japanese. This obviously is a reference to Spinal Tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, big reference. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to 11. I've never seen Spinal Tap. You've never seen Spinal Tap? No. You should watch Spinal Tap. I, I should do, yeah. If there was a comic based on it, we'd cover it in this podcast, <laughs> but... I'm aware I said two. There's more. Yeah, I mean, this is no longer an Easter egg. This is a whole carton. Brie Larson's character and um, Kim Pine. Alison Pill. Thank you. They were both told by Edgar Wright to not blink. Yeah, yeah. It it, um, um, if you go on YouTube um, and watch the live table read they did, he makes a joke of this at the beginning where he almost apologises to the cast about the fact that he uh, had to get them to not blink during filming. Uh, he says, I- I've now realised afterwards that you can edit that stuff out. Um, and one final thing to end on. Um, when the big and police come in and they stop Todd. Um, one of those is played by Tom Jane, who is known as the Punisher, which is my favourite on-screen Punisher, just behind John Bernthal? No? Yeah, John Bernthal? The, the Netflix Punisher? Yes. I'm a big fan of uh, Punisher Warzone. I like the guy who jumps between buildings and gets hit by a bazooka. It's a good scene. There you go. There's my, my carton of eggs. Great stuff. Great carton of eggs. Any other business? Do you have any other questions, comments? Um, yeah, there was a game that came out alongside the film, which was yes. Scott Pilgrim versus the world, the game. I own that on the Xbox. I loved it. Um, that's actually getting a re-release uh, this year. Nice. It's a great little 8-bit fighter in the uh, vein of Streets of Rage or those side-scrolling fighters that you got at the time. I, I really enjoyed it back in the day. So if you Google Scott Pilgrim versus the animation... So it's a short clip made by Adult Swim, um, which mainly centres around the opening of Volume 2. Oh, nice. The bit where, uh, yeah, it does the backstory about him fighting all the uh, the other school. Yeah. One last point to finish on. Um, according to an interview with Brie Larson, um, Michael Sierra was actually quite ripped for this. When that would have been that six weeks of training he did beforehand. His name, actually, was the Push-Up King. Nice. And also he actually had to play the bass worse than he knows how to i can believe that yeah he seems like the kind who plays bass but yeah there you go. shout out to the push-up king 